Ujjaini, also known as Avantika, one of the oldest cities of ancient Bharatvarsha, known for its historical importance and Mahakaleshwar Jyoti Linga. This ancient city, city was plundered and destroyed several times by the Muslim invaders. First the Arabs, then Mahmud of Ghazni, and finally by the Delhi Sultan El Turkmes in 1235 AD. But this was not the end. The city was destroyed again and again by Delhi Sultans and by the Mughals until it was revived by the Marathas. The city of Ujjain as we know today is not the ancient Ujjain or Avantika city. The ancient city was destroyed with the coming of Islam. Welcome to Lost Cities. I am Shujar and we are going to discuss 10 unknown facts about the ancient city of Ujjaini or Avantinagari. Number 1. Ujjaini was the capital of ancient Avanti kingdom. The kingdom at its peak covered parts of Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Maharashtra and other areas. The Bindu mountain divided the Avanti kingdom into northern and southern parts and Ujjaini or Avantinagari was the capital of the northern part. Several ancient dynasties and kings ruled from this historic city. But the supreme ruler and protector of this city was and is Mahakaleshwar or the Lord of Time. Hindu god Shiva appeared here as Mahakaleshwar Jyoti Linga. He is the king of all kings and that is why no king can stay here at night. Number 2. Situated on the eastern bank of river Shipra, ancient Ujjaini was one of the seven sacred cities for the Hindus or Shaptapuris. Number 3. According to Puranas, it was one of the four cities where the drops of Amrita accidentally spilled over from a pot or kumbh and this was the origin of kumbh mela or fair. Number 4. Ujjaini was a very important city during the time of Kalidash and that was why he mentioned this city in his epic work Megaduta. Number 5. The city was also mentioned by some Sanskrit scholars and writers like Bhasha, Bhaktihari, Shudraka, Shomadeva and so on. According to Shomadeva, the city was very prosperous, invincible and full of wonderful sights. Number 6. Mahabharata described the people of Avanti as Mahavala or very powerful. According to Brahma and Vishnupura, the people of Avanti were associated with the Malavas, Jadavas, Aviras, Kurushas, Shuras and Shaurastras. The southern part of this kingdom had its capital at Maishmati on the banks of river Narmada and it was ruled by powerful Haihaya kings known for their military power. Number 7. During the time of Buddha and Mahavira, Ujjaini was ruled by King Chandrapalta, who had friendly relations with Lichavi leader Chetak, Shudashena king Shubahu, and Magadhan ruler Bimbishara. King Pradut expanded his kingdom and fought with many powers of that time. His dynasty continued to rule Davanti until it was conquered by Magad. Number 8. Ujjaini was an important political center during the Nanda and Maura rule. Emperor Ashoka served as the viceroy of Ujjaini during his father's rule. Ashoka divided his empire into four provinces and Ujjaini or Avantinagari was the capital of the western province. Number 9. During the time of Harshavartan, one Chinese scholar and traveler Huen Sang visited Bharatvarsha. The king of Avanti was a very generous person and he used to help the poor. This was the observation of Hyun San. Number 10. The city of Ujjaini is often associated with legendary Hindu emperor Vikramaditya. But the true identity of Vikramaditya is still subject to debate and we cannot say who he was or when he ruled from Ujjaini.